Okay, Chico's here. Now what? Okay, now use your iDroid to call the chopper for pickup. Oh, iDroid. Call the chopper. Oh. Um. Call helicopter. Where I am right now. Fuck yeah. Dude. Victorious, bro. I'm gonna put all the other things that aren't Chico on there first. Wait, do we wait for the chopper? I guess we're waiting for the chopper. Stop talking. I'm gonna give away our position. Yo, chopper, where you at? Do we actually have to put the body right there? Maybe? Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. I'm being impatient, like, you don't actually have to wait for a chopper in real time or something. I wish. Alright. Yeah, it looks like we can fit everybody on that chopper. taking all of them because that's how I fucking roll son I save everybody all right let's go ahead and throw the kid first pause is less important than everyone else because pause was a traitor don't don't you forget by the way welcome back to let's play Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker everybody or Peace Walker Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes by the way welcome back um yeah so there's everybody we saved them all now what we do it All right, we're out then. Fuck it. I'm out. Peace out. Place saved everybody. I'm outie. I wonder if that's the whole mission and that's the whole game. That's going to be hilarious if I start this episode off and it's over already. But we shall see. Pretty sweet, though. That was fun. It's a fun mission. It's a fun little mission. Is it worth $40? Hell no. Let's just see if there's more to it. Or if we're actually done. I'm going to be very, very like, what the fuck if that's it. No, that's probably it. I got a trophy. Nah, let's see. Let's see. All right. So we got, it took us almost an hour to do the whole thing. I got a B rank. Hey, can't hate on a B rank for first try, especially with all the deaths and stuff. I killed people and I, re I rescued six prisoners. I wonder if there was more prisoners. Probably. I'm thinking what I could have done is put everybody on the chopper and then go back in and look around some more. Probably. Anyway, I guess that'll do it for that mission. Ground Zeroes. Exit results. I was like, hopefully we at least get a cutscene to finish off the fucking mission, whether no matter what happens. There you go. Chico stopped freaking out now that he sees Paws. Snake. Damn. Snick. Medic. Medic. Damn, they cut her all up. She's rigged. Damn it, we were set up. Oh shit, like she's going to blow up rigged? Oh, I didn't even Don't think about that. Static. We have to open her now. Hold her down. Hold her down! Fucking put a bomb in her? That's fucked up. Ugh, really? You're gonna, ugh, you're gonna make me watch this shit get cut? Disgusting. Gotta love gruesome. Oh, delicious.
God damn it. Let's watch him do surgery. And boom, we're all dead. Keeper got in. The gruesome man. Like, oh, there wasn't anything in there. Wouldn't that be fucked up? Ugh. Boss. Found it. Wow, that was hella big. Good lord. Probably not even a bomb. It's probably something we want. Oh, well, maybe not. Well, whatever it was, fuck it. She's clean. I'm closing her up. Good idea. It's gotta be a continuous suture. Control tower, this is Morpho 1. All hummingbirds are on the wing. We'll shake hands and head back to the cage. Boss, okay. you got a call. Boss, Who is it? What's up, Huey? Huey, Our Dewey, and Louie. Right on time. Who be the guest? Construction and hangar decontamination are complete. AFVs have been stowed away. And the Zeke's on the seafloor along with a nuke. Everyone's got their story straight. The guided tour will be wrapped up by the time you get home. Make me proud. By the time they leave, I'll have the IAEA praising us as the poster boys for world peace. Out. All right, then. Is that it already? Better not have no credits roll for that shit. For one mission. Oh, it's not over yet. Hold on. Tower Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Do you copy? I'd be okay with like a 20-minute cutscene at this home. point. As long as it's the end. God damn, this shit is beautiful on PS4 though, for real. Uh oh. That's probably not good. Is that our base being attacked? Or is this just some ships that were flying by that happen to be being attacked? No, I think this is our base. Fuck. Look, Commander Miller. Our base is under attack. How dare they? Fuck all that shit. Can you fire myself? Like, can I aim? Clearly, Big Boss is terrible at aiming. Can I aim myself, please? Oh shit, we might be getting thrown down here in the middle of this battle. We may not be done yet. I'm, I'm here. I'm thinking this fucking game is over, but no, we might have a little bit more to this. They're burning down my mother base. Fuck all that shit. Nice, Big Boss. Wrecked his shit. Boom. Sucker. Oh shit. RPG! Nice. Whew. Stop the next RPG screen shot. Is that Miller? Yeah, that's Miller, man. Don't let Miller die. Yeah, right. I think Miller's gonna die right now. I've played Metal Gear Solid 1. Are you serious? Well then, Mother Base got fucked. Fair enough, I guess. You know what else looks pretty consistent? How our soldiers are dressed. The big boss of soldiers. They're dressed exactly like the soldiers from the later Metal Gear games. The ones that are supposed to be working for Big Boss. How appropriate. Damn, they're fucking our shit up. You run out of ammo, bro. You can't fight them all. Let's get the hell out of here. Damn, 
time, dude. They fucked up Mother Base. Oh, you done fucked up now, dude. Big Boss is gonna come back and wreck all your shit. You don't even know right now. Wow. All that hard work we put in in Peace Walker. Burned to the ground, or burned back to the ocean, I guess. Or the sea, or wherever the fuck that shit was. Man. Sad story, bro. Kazuhira Mila. I heard explosions, Stim. They played us like a damn fiddle! Give it back! This isn't right, that was ours! We built it, damn it! Sounds like Miller's voice is a different person, too. Oh, shit. Come on, start talking, bitch! Come on, get up and start talking! <laughs> Miller, that's unlike you. Before, Miller was like... Fucking... He was swooning over Paz before, wasn't he? I know Chico was. Paz, calm your tit. I mean, Kaz, calm your tits. All right, we got it out. Another in your what? In your head? In your chest? In your ass? In your Damn. Really? That's how we're gonna kick this game off? Pause finishing herself off? Was it in her chest? They didn't want to look at her boobs? So they fucking just only got the one out of her belly? And that's how they're gonna leave us hanging, huh? Pause blowing herself up. Smoke from the disaster was visible from the coastline. The media blamed money-minded private militias and scandal-followed U.S. fingers among the top talent clients. In response, the Secretary of the Republic stated that neither the United States nor its allies had any hand in the incident. Liar! Liar! Actually, that's kind of true. Reports also suggested that IAEA inspectors visited the site. However, the U.N. and the IAEA insisted that no such inspection took place. Other countries among the organization's long list of clients among avoided comment altogether. Well casualty figure is uncertain. There are no known survivors. However, in the most prior to and following the incident, several unidentified military helicopters were sighted in the area. Because some people got away, bitch. That's why you saw some helicopters. Well, that's an interesting way to kick off a new game. Well, there's your, there's your, your fucking... Song. Oh, wait. Hold on. They're talking. Nicola Bart. Immigrants wrongly executed. But their deaths served as a message to others. That ours is a society that murders the innocent. Do you too believe your sacrifice will change the world? Was that it? No more talking? Well, as expected, that was it. Short and sweet. Episode 3 and we're done. At least with the playthrough of the mission called Ground Zeroes. Uh, it was cool. I know there's a little bit more to it. If you look around more, there's more things to collect and other things to do and whatnot. And to do all of it, I may need a guide. But now that we've played through it without blindly, as I like to do, we can maybe do some more. I don't know. I have, I have to really think about it. Story-wise... I mean, that was it, except for there's there's going to be some tapes to listen to on the main screen. But somebody, ba you guys have basically pointed out that the only way to listen to all the tapes is you have to actually collect them all or collect all of something to unlock all the tapes. So I may have to off-screen collecting everything. I don't really feel like showing myself collecting everything. If you want to see somebody collect everything in a collect-a-thon type of game, go watch a walkthrough of somebody collecting everything. I will likely not show myself collecting everything. The most likely scenario is that we have a bonus type episode where we listen to audio logs or read audio, read clips, read whatever whatever the extra thing is for more story. I may do an episode of that or two depending on how much there is. It'll be kind of like the briefer preview episodes from Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. But in terms of the actual let's play, I guess you could call this over. I mean, three episodes. Somebody said it might even be two, but I mean, technically it could have been if I made this a long episode, but nah, I, I gave you guys a break. I, I even said goodbye in the middle there. 
because obviously, if you couldn't tell, I recorded this all at once because I wasn't about to stop in the middle of collecting hostages. Yeah, right. And as soon as we collected them all, it was over. So I had to record the rest. Needless to say, I am a little bit hyped for some Metal Gear Solid 5. I'm, I'm actually pretty excited for it. Uh, especially if it's going to look as beautiful as this does, and I'm sure it will. And we got a little bit of foreshadowing on who our villain or villains might be. We saw that skull face guy. I'm kind of excited to see him and maybe his cohorts, whether there be a guy who's, who's higher in the chain than him or if he has his own little crew of homies. I'm actually kind of interested because every Metal Gear Solid has a nice little group to take out and it's pretty much the, the biggest plus in terms of the uh, character development in my opinion going through like a gauntlet of bosses so to speak. I like that style and I hope that they continue with that here in Metal Gear Solid 5, the full Phantom Pain game. I really hope so and I, I can't imagine them not doing it. I'm actually surprised there's no like boss fight in this one. This is literally just a safe hostage mission. Maybe there is a boss fight and it's like a secret hidden thing that I didn't do. I'm sure you guys will fucking spill all the beans now that I'm done with it. Feel free. You guys can even tell me where collectibles are if you want. And I'll just pick them up on my own. Like I said, I won't, I'm not going to bother showing me collect all the, get all the collectibles. There's no reason. No purpose. It's just going to be me running around that big open area and finding all the collectibles. I'm wondering if I have to collect all the little XOF patches. Maybe. I'm sure there's an achievement for collecting all of those. Durr. By the way, this is a lot of... Uh, credits for a fucking half an hour game. Like seriously. Whatever, whatever, I do what I want. Anyway, depending on how much longer these credits are, we may have time to see if I have any of those audio logs in the menu. Depending on how much longer these credits are, of course. And I talk more about how the next Metal Gear Solid is probably going to be the last Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain. And how Kojima got kicked out of Konami. And you guys have already been talking about this in the comments. And we'll talk about it more in the next Let's Play for sure. Um, the next Metal Gear Solid Let's Play, that is. And a lot of you are probably like, Funky, when are you going to play Metal Gear Solid 5? Are you going to play it on day one? Well, that remains to be seen. I know for sure that I've said before that it's not a day one LP. But I've thought about it. And, uh, we'll see. We'll see. I definitely only have, you know, about a couple week and a half, two weeks almost to, uh, make the decision, but it'll get, it'll, uh, uh, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. But I definitely had to get this out of the way, as short as it is. I could have literally saved this until the game came out, and then we could just do this real first, real quick. But, I don't know. I just wanted, I kind of wanted to do it now because I, I found a nice little opening since I'm not doing any more indie games for the summer. I was like, eh, we'll just do this now. Do it now and then we can focus on my other three LPs. Try and get through those in a reasonable amount of time. And don't worry, I have another LP at least I, I, that I will do before we get to October. And I know I keep hyping this October thing, but kind of like last year's October where I did unique LPs for the whole, like at least I started unique LPs for the whole month. At least one of them I didn't finish, Persona 4. But oh, and I didn't, but I did like, you know, appropriate LPs for the month of October. That is the plan again for this year. I'm not going to say what any of the LPs are yet, but I do plan on doing that again this year. Um, we'll talk more about that when we get nearer and nearer to October. But that's the plan. So my plan is to try and be done with all my LPs that I'm currently doing, or will do, by the time September ends. So that is the plan. So you may not see any other new games get started between now and October, except for maybe one, maybe two, eh, one for sure, two maybe depending on what else finishes. I know we're pretty close on a couple of my other LPs. I don't know how close, but I know they're not going to be like super long, super, super duper much longer. Well, at least by more LPs, I just mean Bayonetta. I'm sure Bayonetta is about to wrap up if it hasn't already by the time this episode goes up. I know we're closing on the end of that one. Um, as for Zelda, I don't know. We are probably not even halfway at this point. I know as of this recording, I'm not even halfway. Um, and what was my other one? Oh, Phoenix Wright, yeah. We're, we're only through Case 2 on Phoenix Wright. Starting up on Case 3. I don't know how, how, long, how long Case 3 is. I don't know how long Case 4 is. I don't even know if there is a Case 5, but I do know that that's the Let's Play that I'm most worried about not finishing before October. So 
prepare for more episodes of that as we go. We're going to probably throw in some more daily episodes of that just so we can get further into it. So anyway, let's stop talking about future LP stuff because finally the credits are over. God damn, that was long. I've said a lot more in this episode than I really ever planned on saying in terms of future stuff. So hopefully you were paying Cyber's attention, children. Been hiding ever since his grand experiment. No one's seen him in years. All we hear are orders delivered by proxy. Except you. You met with him face to face in order to contact Big Boss. Tell me where he is. Where is Cypher? Where is Zero? I've never known choice. Where I was born, the language I speak, I've never had the freedom to choose for myself. But you, right now, are free. Do as you will. This will save me, Big Boss. It may. Will you really kill me? Zero for me? Not for you. Uh, uh, Alright. Zero is... Dun dun dun! And then it ends. Was that Pause's voice, by the way? Sound like Pause. Didn't we? We already seen all this shit. This is this. They show all this shit in the fucking the last game. I'm not reading all this. It's a list of things that events that happen. Yay! Events. Sunny Union events. Afghanistan. Into the taunt. Emric has his firstborn called Hal. Yeah, but this is all rehashed from the last game. I'm not even gonna bother reading all this. So that sounded like pause. That was probably when she was getting tortured before she just blew herself up there. That's probably when that was. I'm just assuming. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But that's what it seemed like to me. Unless pause is still alive and that wasn't really pause who died. But I don't think that's the case. To be continued in the Phantom Pain. Get hyped. Coming soon to a PlayStation 4 near you. To be continued. So can we get back to the main menu already so I can see if I can do an audio log, or at least to see what that entails. I may not actually do one, depending on what that entails. Like I said, we'll see, and we'll see if I even have any to do. I imagine there's got to be at least one already unlocked. Is there just a blank screen here? Come on, game. Come on. C come on. Your PS4, you load faster. What can be blank screens? Come on. Come on. You're better than this. You're better than this game. Stop it. No, seriously, what's happening? Um, hello? Anybody? Anybody? Is this seriously what's happening right now? Just blank screen? Just fucking blank screen. Sorry, I went to my menu like, what the fuck? Okay, there's actually a loading thing on the screen, which is good. I hope. Alright, cool. God damn, that was a wait, what? No wonder it was loading forever. It was actually showing me a fucking video. No response. Hit him again. Hit him again. Clear. Deceived and left for dead. Hey girl, how you doing? Wait, what? He's got a hook hand now. Great, deprived of all the pain. Quite some time. Yes, yes, I know. You would like to know how long. I'm afraid it's been nine years. What? That I didn't know. I've never actually watched a trailer for this game, so I don't know much details. Well then, that's gonna be interesting. Body I've lost. Comrades I've lost. Won't stop hurting. Oh 
Okay. That definitely changes things up. No wonder they had this little pre-mission thing, because now, from now on, it's going to be very, very interesting. All right. I got some rewards. 20, well, four rewards. Good Lord. We got some kind of fastest marking of all enemies, so that's cool. We got a, a weapon. More weapons. Oh, I unlocked shit that you can use for the whole mission now. I got Chico's tape. Hard difficulties unlocked. I got some kind of side op. Side ops. Oh, there are side ops. Well then. Yeah, no guarantees I'm doing side ops. I think somebody said I should do all the missions. I don't know. I can't see that being that interesting, to be perfectly honest. I don't know, man. I guess you guys can let me know what you really want to see. I can't imagine the side missions being that interesting if they're just little side missions that are within the main mission. Like what? Pop some more soldiers? Collect some more things? Disarm some more bombs or something? Like how interesting that could that possibly be? Didn't we do enough of that in Peace Walker? Like seriously? I'd rather just wait till the Rip Man game comes out other than checking out these cassette tapes, which I'm going to do right now. I only have Chico's tape, number three. In which case, I'll probably won't listen to it right now. Maybe we should wait till we get more of them. So, I guess it's completely up to you guys. Although, what's the backstory? Is this just the story we already heard? For us, there's no victory. Yeah, I'm not. I should have. I should have went through this already. It's probably just Metal Gear Solid fo Peace Walker shit. All right. So, like I said, it's gonna be completely up to you guys. If you guys really, really, really want to see me do the missions, like seriously, I guess I will. But just know that I'm not gonna enjoy it that much. And I don't mean that I'm not going to do the game, but showing missions on the same map over and over again is not going to be interesting. The biggest part of Metal Gear Solid for me is the story. So just doing missions is not going to be interesting for me or you. You're better off letting me do the cassette tapes after I unlock them all and having, like, bonus reprieve episodes. Just saying. But like I said, unless you guys are really dying to see me do the missions that badly, whatever, I can record them. It's not that big of a deal. But I just, I, if I don't have to, I won't. So... Let me hear you guys' feedback. We'll see what you guys think about it. And in the next episode of this, it will most likely be cassette tapes. But you can consider this the finale, obviously, based on the name of the episode. Um, it'll just be like a bonus reprieve type stuff that I like. I talked about from Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. All right, I'm going to shut up now. Um, yeah. See you guys later. Peace.